Listen up, TPS fans. We're doing a giveaway. We're giving away either Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Step one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Step two, this video needs 5,000 likes. Once we reach 5,000 likes, we give away a copy of Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Before we give away the game, you need to comment because we'll pick a random winner from the comments. The winners will be announced on the TPS Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram social media pages. So follow there as well. Good luck, TPSers. It was the year 2014 and Carmelo Anthony signed a five-year deal worth the reported $124 million to stay with the New York Knicks. But ever since Melo reached the wrong side of 30, the Knicks have become one of the biggest disappointments in basketball. Instead of competing for playoff spots, they're competing for top spots in the draft lottery every year. A mellow trade seems inevitable at this point, but who should come calling? I'm Daquan Young, and today we present 10 teams that need to trade for Carmelo Anthony. And a huge shout out and thank you to Knicks1234 for suggesting this great idea. Number 10, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay, does Cleveland need Melo that bad? Well, if you wanna be able to go head to head with the Golden State Warriors for say, three to six more years, then yes, you do. LeBron James is still the best player in the world, but he turned 32 in 2016 and is bound to slow down at some point. The Dubs have Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, who are both six years younger than LeBron. If the Cavs add Anthony to a lineup that already has the King, Kyrie, and Kevin Love, they just might be good enough to win the next two, maybe four NBA championships. Number nine, the Utah Jazz. This only applies if the Jazz aren't able to re-sign small forward superstar Gordon Hayward. But for now, let's envision he does take his talents elsewhere. The Jazz would need a replacement immediately. Their team on the rise, but don't have enough star power to beat the Warriors or the Spurs. Now you have Melo and George Hill in the same lineup, and losing Hayward isn't such a big deal after all. Not to mention Rudy Gobert. Number eight, the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies have made the playoffs every year since 2011, and yet they've managed to win just four series. That's not good enough when you're that consistent in the regular season. Mike Conley is one of the best point guards in the NBA, and we all know who patrols the front court in Memphis. But adding another ultra scorer like Melo may be the final piece the Grizzlies need to finally end their first round hibernation. Cause, cause they're bears, get it? Cause they're bears. Number seven, the Atlanta Hawks. Like the Grizzlies, the Hawks are always in the playoffs. They're just never a serious playoff contender. Atlanta may lose star power forward Paul Millsap in free agency, and they'll have to replace his offense immediately. Throw in Anthony and boom. Although it may not be enough to dethrone LeBron's Cavs in the East, but it does keep Atlanta's playoff window open, which could help them add more stars in the future. Number six, the Houston Rockets. A career year from James Harden wasn't enough for the Rockets to get past the second round. As great as the bearded man is, he can't win the Wild Wild West on his own. Houston has to get him a deputy to work with the Wild Wild West. The Rockets didn't get a whole lot from their small forwards in 2016 and 17. Anthony not only changes that, but now you have a formidable duo that probably puts Houston above San Antonio in the Western Conference now. If Houston wants to reach championship caliber status, they should do whatever it takes to land Melo. Number five, the Los Angeles Clippers. With Blake Griffin and Chris Paul possibly finding new homes in 2017, the Clippers have to be ready for plan B, and that should be trading for Carmelo Anthony. No, he and DeAndre Jordan wouldn't make the Clippers a championship caliber unit, but Anthony would at least soften the blow if LA can't retain two of their franchise players. And even if they can't keep Blake, the Clippers still need a great shooter. Anthony fills that void and ensures Los Angeles remains a force in the West. Number four, the Toronto Raptors. Whether Kyle Lowry stays or not, the Raptors truly need some more help for DeMar DeRozan. Toronto has a big two, but Cleveland has a big three. Hence why Cleveland has had no problem reigning supreme in the East over the Raptors. Toronto's offense is efficient, but they really, really need another great shooter. The Raptors could form one hell of a big three with DeRozan, Lowry, and Anthony. Their offense will be well-rounded and hopefully good enough to compete with Cleveland. Number three, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, so losing Kevin Durant seems kind of horrible after all. Russell Westbrook was a triple-double machine though, and he helped the Thunder win 47 games in the stacked Western Conference. So it wasn't a total loss, but come on, they were a championship contender with KD. Now they need to go out there and find Westbrook another score. Think about it. The Thunder were a good team in 2017. Give Westbrook another scorer like Carmelo Anthony, and that would make OKC great again. Number two, the Miami Heat. Dwayne Wade jumped ship, and Chris Bosh sat out the entire season, yet Miami overcame a horrible first half and managed 41 wins, falling just shy of reaching the playoffs in 2017. 
Well, as it turns out, Hassan Whiteside and Goran Dragic are a great duo as is. Now, if the Heat could just add one more score to their already dynamic offense. Pat Riley is one of the best at recruiting top level talent. He did get LeBron James, Chris Bosh, Ray Allen, and Shaquille O'Neal. Don't doubt his ability to get Anthony, who would surely love to play in South Beach and would be a massive upgrade over Justice Winslow. Number one, the Denver Nuggets. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world. Sorry about that. Anthony spent his first seven and a half years with the Denver Nuggets. They were the team that drafted him. He was the guy that made this losing franchise a respectable group in the Western Conference for a few years. Denver, of course, would only have to chase Anthony if they don't re-sign small forward Danilo Gallinari. A homecoming for Anthony makes plenty of sense. He joins a young Nuggets team on the cusp of being a consistent playoff team. You'd have to think he'd love to go back and the Nuggets really need him more than any other team. What team do you think will end up with Carmelo Anthony? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we truly appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.